Joe Johnson and them, Lisa Leslie and them, the motherfucking triplets, and the motherfucking enemies. Surprise the motherfucker that the enemies is there. I'm fucking surprised. Super but, upset. Yeah, but today, hey, we live from Washington, D.C., Chocolate City to motherfuckers that don't know. Live today. Man, listen, the playoffs is here, and we here for all the bullshit. Shout out to the slutty boys in D.C., home of Kevin Durant and Elgin Baylor. But today we expect you to have handles like Randolph Childress. But, you know what I'm saying? Don't get lost in the sauce, nigga, like Delonte West. Because this is the city of go-go music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they famous for some great chili. And we don't want to see you crying like Wale. Okay? This is Chocolate City. So just bring the fire, man. We here today for all the bullshit. So, the first game, you know, we want to talk about was, who was it? You the motherfucking... over Trilogy and Enemies first? Trilogy um, and Enemies? Or the first game? We can go, we can go with the, the triplets, triplets and the ghost ball. ball. Triplets and the ghost ball. Just get it popping with JoJo. Listen, man, we, Joe we've, been, we've been talking about ISO Joe all year, bro. bro. This motherfucker. We've been talking about ISO Joe all year, man. This And he really... To keep it real, he really on his return because they didn't won the championship before. Yeah. So he really just out for blood now. Damn near, I think this is this would be like what? They the second ring or they second ring in a row, but I think no, but overall this might oh, be their third. It might be their third one. Yeah, yeah. man. Lisa Just, Leslie and them been coaching good for a minute, right, man. Right. ISO Joe. He been playing top tier for a minute, bro. Uh, he the only player in the big three that got called up to the motherfucking Celtics and I think the Hawks, like, because he's been in it, been like six, seven years, the big three. He done got called to the NBA twice on mm. five different 10 day contracts. Wow. Just because they watching him in the big three. Yes. So ISO Joe is really something to be reckoned with, bro. ISO motherfucking Joe. He led his motherfucking team to the motherfucking promised land. He did, man. So let's let's start it off, man. He started off the game. How right? look? How do you he look? He started off the game, bro. He was real aggressive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was real aggressive, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was showing his strength to these little players. Like, like, and 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 I haven't seen him do that in a while. And I feel like in his mind, he felt like he was relying on that jumper too much. Right. So he started to play like bully ball. Like, really, he started to play bully ball, and he got that footwork together, bro. That boxing out, that one-two, the, the pump fake, and get a nigga off his feet. He do all that, that perfect. That pivot, that pivot. He do all that perfect, and we got to say that Pargo is like his Scottie Pippen, bro. It is. It Pargo is, is it like is. his Scottie Pippen. I mean, how, how could we not like a player that you know if your game is off or you ain't really – Doing what you got to do, he going to pick up the slack. That's the key. That's important, bro. You're going to need to have that because you can't be able to bring it every night, mm -hmm. especially in these one-game scenarios, too. And if you're not, if you're not there, you don't have to need that. You're going to rely on your man's, your wingman to back you up. Mm -hmm. Very important. And he's and he's like, like I was saying this like last week, I think he too much point guard for niggas. Yeah. He too much because not only do Pargo be coming off the dribble and, and – and doing the hesitation shit and all the shit, he'll shoot a three in your face. So it's like, even if you a big man or you a little nigga, how you gonna guard that? Man, ooh, I, how you gonna guard I, that? He got and moves. he got dumb handles. He got too. moves for you. He got dumb handles. And that and makes it like, even more de devastating when they both on. Like when Joe's he just, on, he, and just, he, second com guys he on. compliment Joe so crazy because it, it allowed Joe to be a big man and he don't gotta handle the ball, even though he can. Yeah. But it's easier for him not to handle the ball and just be ready to shoot or just go down there and dominate like he do. Yep. So. Shout out to Jeremy for being a solid two-man. For sure. And for showing sure. up. And, and also, I want to say, so look, so we also was talking, we were saying that, listen, Mike Taylor and Justin Simmons, y'all y'all, was a great duo. No, y'all, y'all was a great duo. I don't want to take nothing away from what y'all did and everything that y'all accomplished, but y'all workload was heavy. Y'all workload was heavy. Both of y'all <coughs> both of y'all are damn near little men. Right. <coughs> both of y'all are damn near little men and 
everybody on the triplets besides Pargo and his brother is big men. It's hard for you to maneuver around that. And please, let's not sleep on Larry Sanders' ugly motherfucking ass. Uh, Listen, you have to love anybody that will get you five points and 15 rebounds. Oh, yeah, we love that. Five That's points and 15 rebounds, okay? Man, he is a force on defense. He on the squad. He is a force on defense. But back to Mike and them, right? I like the duo of Mike and Justin, but I just feel like it just wasn't enough. They were trying, bro. And, 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 and Trillage, I mean, Triplets didn't even win by that many points. No. They no. didn't even win by that many points, but it's it's just that. <clears throat> if I score 50, 45. It's, it's just that I feel like Mike, I was saying that he take a lot of bad shots. Yeah. He take a lot of bad shots, and then, you know, Justin Simmons, he really just a jumper. You know what I mean? He he, he could jump out the gym, Catch but he don't really got no handles, though. I ain't seen him take nobody off the dribble. Uh -huh. So that's why Pargo had him on skates a little bit. Right. Because right. if you ain't taking niggas off the dribble, you ain't playing defense either. So that's why Pargo was just dogging him, and they couldn't do nothing. On both and then, and then And then the other dude, is his name Chris Johnson, I think? Big, tall nigga. I've been wondering this big nigga, why he ain't be playing? He just, this nigga big and tall, he just be sitting on the bench. Just, just sitting like, on the a, bench. A the chair. What are you doing, nigga? You hella big and long and... Man, listen, George... You're a practice player. G George, I'm going to grant you one more season. You know, I've been talking about you, but George, uh... I'm going to grant you one more season, Grandpa, and hopefully y'all can get it together because y'all made the semis. You feel yeah, me? Y'all made yeah. the semis. We got to so. respect y'all making it to the semis, but the triplets was too much. I think when it's come when it start going professional, bro, like I'm oh. talking about like Lisa Leslie as a coach, it's a little different. It's a, it's, it. and, and then you gotta think of the kind of coach that Lisa Leslie is for a nigga like Joe Johnson that just wanna play his heart out for. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? It ain't really been a lot of female coaches around that niggas that just be like, I wanna play my maybe she a cool coach, you know, Don Staley or Becky Hammond, they cool. Right, right, right. She Joe knows John, shit. Joe Johnson, like, this relationship is God sent, bro. It's working. She knows some shit. She knows some shit. She putting Joe she been, on. She been around, bro. Right. She been around. Right. So, congratulations to the motherfucking triplets, bro. Y'all had a great-ass motherfucking season. A great-ass motherfucking Once season. again, back to it. Back in it. And, I, and, and another uh, um, uh, 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 a sleeper on their team that I want to highlight because, you know, it's only five players on the team. But Jamario Moon. Jamario Moon comes in and he does his job, the yeah. cleanup. Yeah. He's like a kind of like a six man, you know, when Joe and them might be tired or something, or Larry don't want to get no rebounds. He come in there and he just do his job, bro. Yeah, he, boost. he do his job, man. And I've seen him break a few ankles too, so he definitely is on a bone collector list. So it's, it's, it's just crazy. But yeah, man, the, the, the triplets, that that's who my pick is. So, but you're looking good. Looking that, that, good. That's, that's Your pick is looking is. nice, bro. So that's who my pick is. So, before we get to that, let's let's kind of talk about the MVP race a little bit. Who, okay. who who do you think is deserving of? Before we talk about the next game, who you think is deserving of the MVP? And we want to say all season and the playoffs. Now, you could pick somebody that didn't make the playoffs, Ugh. but they had to, you. You got to give me some real good. Pointers of why they should be in well, this regular season. Shit, at first it was looking like Nick Beasley at first, right? It was. It, it was. was early on MVP as far as regular season. At that on Smash, my boy 25 and 12, man, right? So just had a horrible record. They didn't even make the shit. No playoffs at all. So uh here's a guy turned it on late. He came through a little bit, but mm -hmm. uh who else I like is uh I gotta go with my man, um, Earl Clark, but fucking, he didn't show up to the play this game. This guy, which leads us into this, like, it would have been, Earl Clark would have been my pick, my backup pick, and he was a solid second candidate, but he just didn't show up in the damn playoff game. So that's the same as Beasley. Mm hmm. So, so, okay, so, but let's, let me, let me, let's speak on that a little let's, bit. The other guy let's, left let's, his let's, job. Let's speak on that a little bit, though, uh, how, like, what what do you think the reason why he got lost though? You think it was it was too much defense or because I'm saying Earl you Earl been our nigga though. 
Earl been our nigga. Like he he could, he in, no, I'm saying in and out. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like defense, yep. like guarding the best player, shooting jumpers and threes when they need it. So double double. Yeah. Double, so double, what do you, what do you think went wrong to where he just how how do you just be a dominant force all season and then hoe up in the playoffs? I think you lose it. You just the, the lights are too bright. The D got too good on you, I guess. Bad shots. It's a combination of shit, man. It ain't just one thing gonna affect a great player like that. It ain't mm -hmm. like he oh he all of a sudden he got D'd up this one game. No, he got D'd up. Had a bad game offensively, bad shots. Just was his night. His teammates were there. Nobody picked like we said. We need a second guy there. Mm -hmm. it, ha it happened to the Pippen. best of us. It happened to the best of us. No Pippen. Where's my Pippen <laughs> at? I need him. I need the Pippen. I Come on him. back, man. What's up? And then step up. And then happen. Never showed up. Okay, so, so, so my MVP, who I'm going to take, uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to do like you did. So who I, who I was going to take at first is I was going with the Hezzy guy. That's mm -hmm. who I was going mm -hmm. with. He was my pick. I was fucking with him. Even though I was only 80% sure of, of, of just him winning, I still felt like he was my MVP pick. Until I seen how Mario Chalmers got in his head. Mario Chalmers got in his head to where he couldn't even drive the ball. All Chalmers was doing was slapping the ball out of his hand every time. Slapping his <laughs> hands down. And he had the ref like, I've never seen Hezzy complain or nothing. Right. He complained to the ref like this, like looking at the ref. Like, what did you? Mm -hmm. All Mario doing just slapping them hands. And so I was like. They don't move. So, so after that, I, I kind of took Hezzy got out the running. But I'm going to give it to Dante Green. Because I've, I've been liking him all season, and, and the way he uplifted and made the players on the team better. I know they didn't win enough games to even, you know, get to the playoffs and all this shit, but I, I, I just like his leadership. Over it's, Joe? Over Johnson? Over ISO? They finna win the championship. You I would think the, that. You could get, yeah. get the MVP of the finals, man. Yes. You get the MVP of the finals, man. Okay. And you got to okay. and, and keep it real, though. Joe was... He was in the MVP race, but he was having some bad games. Pargo was holding it down a lot. Yeah. Pargo was holding it down a lot. And, and I mean, you know, I guess that's that's what So I guess that's what um, you know, you got sidekicks for. Yes. I totally get it, but yes. I, I don't think he, really Joe only played good these last four games. Before that, it. Joe was kind of I dig it. I think he's up and down. Joe was kind of lacking. Joe was kind of lacking. That jumper wasn't hitting. Know what I mean? It was that's why I said I don't, I don't, I'm, that you take fi you take finals MVP. You can, you can have you can have finals MVP. You okay. ain't getting regular season. So your guy again. So your final pick MVP Dante Green. Dante, that's, that's, that's my 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 pick MVP. Not bad. Not okay, bad. so so you let's let's get on to the um to the enemies. Okay, enemies and trill and trilogy. Uh, we was just talking about Earl. This was an upset to the maker. <laughs> this motherfucker was. God, fifty to thirty-seven in a playoff game. Hey, look, in the playoffs, let me, let, let me, 50 let me tell 37? you. Let me tell you what this remind me of, bro. This remind me of. Remember that season, and I know you remember this season because we was in middle school, and you was a motherfucking um, jazz fan. I was a motherfucking Bulls fan, and our one of our friends, Jonas, was a fucking Sonics fan. He had that motherfucking Sean Kemp jersey. He used to wear that motherfucker all the time, right? <laughs> and I remember that one motherfucking season, they had the best fucking record in the whole motherfucking league. You remember That's that it. shit? That's it. That was 96. That, that was that year. That was that year. 95. Sean Kemp had them kamikazes, and he was just dunking on everybody. You remember that shit? Yep. So... He had, four, I think maybe. Bro, he had that. He had that motherfucking jersey. <laughs> yeah, just that motherfucking <laughs> jersey, bro. Hey, goddamn Sean Kemp. Yo, I thought he was the man too. He thought he was so hey, that's raw. What I'm saying. They, they, they went, bro. That they, it, it reminded me of that motherfucking time when the motherfucking Sonics they had deadlift shrimp and all this shit. Okay, all this shit, bro. They had the best motherfucking record and got knocked off by the motherfucking Matumbo in them, the Denver Nuggets. The Denver um, Nuggets um, Robert Pack. Robert and, Pack. And, and yeah. And yeah. And Mahmoud. So you forget about Mahmoud <laughs> and Mahmoud. I said, bro, like that's trilogy. What the fuck, man? I I think to be honest, I think this why Zay didn't even come back to the team. 
<laughs> he probably said, he man, coming, he huh? probably said, has he, man, you got it, bro. If y'all win, I want it to be because of you, man. I don't want to come back and all that. You know what I mean? Yeah, has he took over, didn't relinquish it, but maybe he just, that's, that's what, okay, that's what came back to bite him. That's what came back to get So that's, that's, that's what I'm, that's what I was just saying when we was just touching on the shit about him and Mario and what he was going through. I watched the whole game, bro, with the trilogy and I'm telling you that it was just so terrible as the fuck because has he do all of the dribbling, all the head fakes, all it takes is for somebody to lock in on defense on him. Like a real defensive player. Not like I'm not going for head fakes. Yeah, I'm a yeah, not, nigga, nigga that's gonna be in the in, you know what I'm talking about? Still nigga that's doing floor. all that. He has he guy can't do nothing with that. Ooh. He can't do nothing with that. He be frustrated. You know his his jumper when he shoot his jumper, it's a little awkward. Yeah. So I'm saying it's even more awkward when you release that motherfucker and you ain't comfortable. You know what I mean? So that, that's what I'm saying. It was it was. It, the chances are lower. I like lower. I like no I I like Hezzy a lot, but I can see why you ain't in the NBA. No, I I, I can see why you ain't in the NBA and you a superstar in all these sports leagues and these little, you know, sports tournaments and all the basketball tournaments and you, just you make a lot of money from playing. I, I totally get it, but that's just not going to work if you can't even score on niggas that ain't weak. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you raw, nigga, you supposed to be able to do this to the best niggas. Now, I see niggas out there falling and you dogging niggas, yeah, but they yeah. not good, though. They not, yeah. they not the best players you doing that to. somebody too. a little bit better. Yeah, man. Up on you, and, 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 and it's fucked up because he met his motherfucking match with nigga Jordan Crawford. Jordan Crawford, bro, listen. And that's exactly what Crawford was doing. Listen, listen. Crawford was going in and out, out and in. Nigga, I didn't even know Crawford could dunk, bro. He dunking. I'm talking about he took over the game, bro. He took over the game. He took over the game. I don't know if he heard me talking about him last week or what the fuck was going on, but he took over the motherfucking game, Micah, bro. That's who it was. He took over the whole game. And, and, and That's who he did. took Listen, he took Earl out the fucking game. Yeah. yeah. He took <laughs> Earl out the fucking game. <laughs> Listen, and then, and then <laughs> let's, let's not sleep on Steven Jackson. You got out caught. Steven Jackson, you got our coach, bro. Maybe, maybe we need to lead a terror squad, motherfucking chains at home. You know what I'm saying? All the Pradas and all the <laughs> shit you be wearing all on the motherfucking sideline. Nigga, not paying attention to the team, nigga. Come on, sh showing the three rings and all that shit. Like, bro, like, it was bad. This was a bad season. I know y'all went to the playoffs one game away from the championship, but. What the hell? Two L, three L? I just feel like it was a bad season because. You got out coached. Yeah. You got out coached, bruh. And Earl just went motherfucking. He we was looking he was like, where's missing. Waldo? He went missing. Where's Waldo? You somebody put an APB out for Earl Clark, man. <laughs> man, yeah. I don't, man. He he probably, see, this is his last known man, address. He's, some, he's somewhere with Polly Class in there, man. Did he make it to that's DC? A, that's where I don't know what the fuck is going on, bruh. Like, I don't know what the fuck going on. It, it, nigga. Took him out the game, bro. It, they turned him into a jump shooting team, and they was not. <laughs> it was not the business. That was not the offense. They, 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 they were shooting bricks. They was, they were shooting bricks, man. And Dude, it's, and, it's and so they turned him because they got to that big lead. They jumped on that ass. It was it was the upset, and then they yeah. they had to the blow out the whole and, time. And why it seemed like everything Jordan Crawford was throwing up. Oh, was that shit was going bonkers. Everything he was throwing up, he was cashing. Game of bro. his life. Game of his fucking life. Yo. Everything he was throwing up, he was cashing, bro. Cashing. So, like I said, man, it was. It, it, it's two teams left now. It's, it's the triplets and the enemies. The triplets and the enemies, man. Who who y'all got? You think man, Nick Young gonna come off the bench and show up? You think Nick Young gonna give him something? Oh my god. Give a shit. I think Nick, Nick, you, you listen, Nick. You coached a good season, right? <laughs> so let's just stay coaching, bro. Let's yeah. just stay coaching. And and what's crazy is I'm gonna say this too, cause I don't give a fuck. Nigga, Gilbert Arenas, you've been running your podcast, nigga. You ain't been coaching the team. You should right. not show up to the motherfucking championship unless you in the stands. Don't come sit on the bench now, nigga. I know it's your team. No, it's for real. I know it's your team. You, show up. Right, you know he's gonna go right there and sit down first. That's some bullshit. For the shit. That ain't no bullshit. 
That's some bullshit. Nigga, you ain't been there all season. Extra Hollywood. Come so on, I man. guess you now you're gonna be like you the mm-hmm. owner. Mm-hmm. And Nick is a coach. Dude, he gonna go out there, he's gonna start saying shit, talking, be out there. Like yeah, he involved, I, I, okay, okay. <laughs> engaged, <laughs> for the ship, <laughs> for the ring, first appearance, <laughs> for the ring, <coughs> boss. Hey man, it's boss. It's 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 all good, man. You the boss, okay, okay, Gil. Boss, hey, we we've been breaking it down on the pod. We got the video. We've been going over the footage over here on the podcast. Yeah, <laughs> all oh, season. Yeah, it's crazy as fuck. <laughs> but, okay, okay, yeah. Gil, it's your team. Yes. So you're gonna be at the ship, man. So so we like I said, we, we wanna tap in. Tap in with us, man. Hit us in the DMs and shit and tell us who you think who y'all got. Is Joe Johnson against Jordan Crawford? That's, yeah, that's what it, it is. It's gonna be Jordan. It's Joe Johnson against Jordan Crawford. Who you got? That's the right? MVP right there. Who's mm-hmm. gonna be Oh, this game's gonna be the MVP. Or Jordan Crawfish, man. So who you got? Who you got? You going with ISO? Or are you going with, with with Jay Crawford, man? Uh, I'm gonna go with the hot hand. I'm gonna go with Crawford. Have a good game. But see, Gilbert, right? And then again, he could be a distraction. But this ain't no traditional, typical team, so it might not be a distraction for these this squad. Like normally, that shouldn't be a distraction, but this shit don't matter. So if Jordan Crawford get off to it, man, a hot start, bro. I don't see. I can see them you can see doing them just win. like they're doing. Uh-huh. Yeah, doing just like they did last game. Crawford carrying with 27 and, again, 28. And, and, and it's kind of crazy because it's like, you know, ISO Joe, he plays slow, bro. Like, I, I, I ain't never seen him have a fast start. Never. Unless it's like, you know, he doesn't hit like five shots in a row. Right, and he right. ain't even the type to take five shots in a row. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, yeah, so I'm saying like, I ain't seen him go get out to a, a like a real fast paced start unless mm-hmm. Pargo started up. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. Like like you just said, I'm now I'm kind of thinking like, if Jordan heat up, if he heat up early, like with a quick little 10 piece, it might be over. Yeah, 10, it might two, be over. 14, 2 or something. See, there you go. But, you know. but, who, but who is going to help him, though? Who is going to help him? Isaiah Austin, you like him? Man, really, yeah, I know, man. He yeah, you can't trust me. It was solid. It's a good 10 and 8. It's 10 and 8 from the big. <laughs> it's a solid 10 and 8. It's called. Yeah, 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 we'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. 10 we'll take and 8. It. You played your game. It was uh, uncoordinated. <laughs> <laughs> it was awful. Hey, you needed that. Hey, it was hey you know who he, rem- he remind me of this nigga that I used to play hoops with back in the hood? Big Big, Duke, big Dookie. That nigga name was Big Dookie. He played for Mission. And he played for Joe Lee, man. Niggas, yeah. Nigga uncoordinated, but he going to get you that 10 and 8, though. Good 10 and he going to get you that 10 and 8. Solid. Hard. Hard Solid. 10 and 8. Or that, or that 8 and 10 in one game. Uh-huh. A few games. Or, eight or, and 10. Or, or maybe like like an 8 and, and 15. Man, he'll take ooh, that. Ooh. He'll take 15 on him. Especially for the ship coming next man, week. Man, 15, 15 mean you was down there being a bully. That's what 15 mean. You know what I'm saying? A true big man. Yes. Use being a big man. 